welcome to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today I'm working on the final layout for January's Get In Shape hop. This hop will be continuing into February, which is kind of cool, but this is the last one for January. Our shape for today is hexagons, and I pulled out my dies and my punches. I'm not sure which I'm going to use yet. And I'm also going to be doing a Baby Got Scraps layout, so I have a ton of scraps from various kitty cat collections that I have in my stash. I have one full sheet of white cardstock and then two sheets of stickers, a set of stamps that Scram Scrap and Harden actually sent me and I got last week in the mail. And I think I'm gonna be using this, Your Purdy, as part of my title. I think I'm gonna stamp some silly kitties as well. I have a few die cuts in case I need some more kitties, including a little bit tiny frame and a photo of old man kitty. He is, um, this was early 2016, so he would have been, I don't know, old eight. I think he was eight, um, or would have been eight in July of that year. Anyway, so he is passed out probably in my lap or my daughter's lap, maybe. So I will go ahead and get some um, cuts made. I'm not gonna make you watch me punch out hexagons. That seems quite silly. Uh, I also have a package of um, hearts and enamel dots from Bella Boulevard that came in a kitty cat collection I bought on Peachy Cheap here a year or so ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll be right back. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color my white cardstock with some of this, I think this is Salty Ocean. And I accidentally put too much out. It's okay though. Um, this is a beautiful color and it's nice and vibrant and bright. Now I've mentioned before, when you are doing ink smooshing with packaging, the smaller the piece of um, packaging that the, you use, the more control you have over it. And that is why I'm using such a small piece. Yes, my fingers were absolutely blue when I was done. And fun facts, I had a doctor's appointment the next day, so yikes. Um, anyway, I'm getting um, the ink on here where I'd like it. it is, like I said, it's a gorgeous color. And I'm just kind of spreading it all over that background. Now, I did not use Vicky Booten's foundations. That is just a piece of the heaviest cardstock that Joann's sells. I love it. What you saw me do there was add some water to my background and then I'm just rolling my paper towel over it. All right, while that background dried fully, I went ahead and I used my medium hexagon punch and I punched out a bunch of hexagons. I don't use all of these, but I gave myself plenty of options. I also stamped, cut out, well, stamped, colored, and fussy cut the kitty cats that you see over there. And I used one of my hexagon dies to cut my photo into a hexagon. So I knew that I wanted to use that Your Purdy, because I'm titling this layout Your Purdy Derpy. My kids call him a derpy kitty all the time. And I think this photo is absolutely proof positive of it. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm using flat alphabets. They're not my favorite, but they came on that sticker sheet, and I wanted to go ahead and get those used up by creating my title. And my very last letter, the Y for Derpy, um, I'm just going to lay it loosely on the background because I am going to put that on foam adhesive and then fussy cut it so that it is level with the rest of my title. Next up, I'm going to start stacking in some of the hexagons on here and just kind of deciding where I want them to end up. I didn't end up using the ones of the kitty cat faces I don't think I don't think I used one of those at all. Um, I didn't really 
it, I decided I didn't really like them. So, but I do use at least one each of all of the rest. Um, I think as I'm putting these on here, I end up putting more on off camera when I'm gluing things down. And I'm also going to go in and I'm going to just use my Tim Holtz Distress Tool to go ahead and distress all of the edges as well. So they're not going to be perfect. And of course, they're kind of laying on their wonky right now anyway because they're not glued down. But I'll make sure that they get glued down mostly straight when I'm done. I'm pulling the hearts off that one sticker sheet. And I'm going to pull off two phrases from a sticker sheet as well. One says spoiled. And I don't remember what the other one says. can't remember. Um, oh, per. Yeah, he probably was per. All right. I got my layout done. I added some splatters and I did end up adding a couple of more of the hexagons because when I stood up and looked at the layout, I felt like it needed a couple of more. I added this one and this one and I think the green one over here. Um, I did pop things up with fun foam. You saw me do the photo and I think you saw me do my title block. I did put the Y on a piece of fun foam and fussy cut it out. Highly don't recommend it. It's a pain in the neck, um, especially with the thin alphas. Thin alphas are not my favorite stickers. I have a bunch of them and I probably should try to use them up and never buy them again. <laughs> but anyway, I am happy with the way this turned out. Make sure you check my description box below so that you can see the list of creators who are hopping along with Get In Shape and Baby Got Scraps. Both of those lists will be below. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. You guys help grow my channel, and that is super important to me and I really appreciate it. You guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye!